Hello everyone. So today I will show you how to use Mesh Mixer to create a shell around the teeth. And uh, of course Mesh Mixer is not a dental software, but it's very useful for a lot of dental applications um, like the one I will show you today. So uh, in general Mesh Mixer can be used to edit uh, 3D models in uh, different ways and also do some analysis work like measuring distances for example. So uh, let's uh, start creating our shell. So the first step is we import our uh, STL file. So we'll use this upper arch. And as you can see, I previously uh, trimmed the model. So it's ready for uh, 3D printing or editing or doing whatever we want to do. So for, for the sake of this video, I'll actually uh, create the shell around these four incisors. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we select the area that we want to create the shell on. Okay. So to select an area, we press S and we get this, uh, this circle or this brush and we can decrease its size by using the uh, square bracket keys on the keyboard, increase or decrease the size of the circle. And we just paint or highlight the area that we want to create the shell on. Okay, and of course, if we, we can rotate the model by using right click and we select by using the uh, left click. Okay, so we will create a shell around uh, these four incisors. Okay, and of course, as you can see, the edges are not very smooth. And the reason for, for this is that if we press W, we can see uh, the triangles that form the 3D model. So uh, STL files like uh, this one uh, is actually made of these tiny triangles. So uh, we are basically selecting actually the triangles. We press W again to return the, to the normal mode. So, uh, and I will show you of course uh, the best way I, uh, I, I know to smoothen this, these borders. And I'll show you in a moment, it will be uh, very smooth actually. So uh, after finishing the labial surface, we'll go towards the incisal edge. And, and then we'll start selecting the uh, palatal surface. And of course, if we, for example, we selected an area that we don't want, we press shift and left click to deselect the area, okay? And um, of course, uh, this shell, I will uh, 3D, uh, later on I will 3D print it, and I will show it to you on the model. So um, I'm going to actually 3D print it in a material that's not very flexible. So I will only uh, extend the shell uh, just above the singlet. Okay, and this is actually um, uh, good for my application. So I think uh, this extension is good for me. Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, selected the uh, labial surface, the incisal edges, and the palatal surface. Okay, so this is the first step. The, the next step is to smoothen these borders, as I said before. So to make these borders smooth, we press B. Okay, as you can see, we have the smooth boundary uh, option, and these lines will show you uh, the lines or the borders that it will create after uh, creating these smooth borders. So just double check it and just click accept. And as you can see, now we have smooth borders all around. Okay. So now we, uh, after highlighting and uh, the area that we want to create the shell on and we made the borders smooth now we want to create the shell and to do so we want to actually select everything uh, other than the area that we previously select so we are basically inverting the selection okay so we will select everything other than our shell and the way we do so is by pressing shift i okay 
So as you can see, we actually selected everything. We inverted the selection and then we press delete on the keyboard and now we have our shell very simply okay however of course this shell has no thickness okay so we created the shell but it has no thickness so uh, to make a thickness for this shell we first uh, select the whole shell and we uh, w whenever we want to select a whole object we just double click and we press Control D which opens to us this offset menu okay and the distance here is the uh, the thickness that we want to choose so for example we will use one millimeter for the thickness and we press accept okay and as you say as you can see we have now uh, thickness to the shell but uh, you can see of course clearly that the borders are not uh, smooth or regular and uh, there's actually I found a very easy way to fix this problem so actually let's press Control Z to undo this and the way let's cancel the the, the offset and the way we can actually uh, prevent this from happening these uh, spikes or uh, irregularities is that we um, use uh, here the sculpt tools and we use a brush called reduce okay and when we press W again to see uh, the triangles, uh, the triangles or the or the mesh, we this brush actually reduces the mesh, so it's kind of simplifying the mesh. So we just go, maybe we reduce the size of the brush a little bit. So we go all around the borders, like so, okay, and this will actually. Uh, I've tried this uh, several times and it actually works very well okay so we just reduce or simplify the mesh all around the borders so we have to do it I'm not sure actually if we have to do it on the labial and uh, and from the inside as well but uh, in general I do it from both sides okay so I think it has to be done from from both sides so um, we're just reducing the mesh as you can see it's simplifying the triangular mesh okay and going all around and this will help us uh, when we start creating the offset or the thickness or uh, to give uh, the shell thickness it will make it uh, uh, as smooth as possible okay so let's actually try this way so let's actually double click again let's move the uh, W key and let's uh, press S to select again and let's double click to select everything let's press Control D and as you can see now it's very smooth actually we'll make it one millimeter and uh, connected preserve boundary and we click accept and as you can see it's now very smooth right and very regular okay so uh, we click accept and now we have our shell right and we can actually even um, check it on the model let's actually import our append let's actually import our model again and as you can see we have the shell created on the model okay so as you can see it's uh, very smooth and uh, you can 3d print uh, let's delete the model now so you can 3d print uh, this shell uh, for whatever application you you want I'm actually trying uh, something new uh, with it so uh, I will later on show you uh, this shell on the model after 3D printing.